I'll bring it. I'll have it right now. Thank you so much. Hey. Hey. How y'all doing? You might... Excuse me, Mr. Trucker. You might be thinking, Timmy, why are you wearing that super nice shirt with gym shorts? That's because I'm gonna be in my car all day, so no one's gonna see it. I'm gonna blend right in. Today I'm meeting at Del Taco for 24 hours, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm gonna review all the food. <laughs> I, can't, I just saw myself in the little viewfinder. I'm gonna review all the food. I'm gonna tell you if it tastes amazing or if it tastes like trash. Now, of course, I have been to Del Taco a couple times and I love the food here, but I've never had their breakfast and I've never tried like the whole menu. So today we're gonna try all the things that I haven't tried and some of my classic faves. It's gonna be a great day. By the way, fun fact, did you know that Del Taco translates to of the, of the taco. I want to be of the taco. I want to be part of that. It sounds like a party. Ooh. And Taco Bell translates to Ria Fest. <laughs> Actually, I have personally never taken a trip to Ria Town after eating at Taco Bell. Maybe you have. I know it's like a thing, so that's why I joked about it. I like to fit in. Anyways, before we go through the drive through give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying it. It's the easiest way to support little old me and my whole career. This is my career. I know I look like a little dainty man, but I do eat for a living. Also, subscribe if you're new here. Like I said, I make food content. I eat. We feast. Fast food, restaurants, hotel food, a bunch of different things. Anyways, let's go. How's my seasoned beef looking? As an antisocial person, like I said, I like to blend in because, you know, standing out does make me nervous. So <laughs> I don't get why people even do that. Like, it couldn't be me. Ah, my camera! Is my camera okay? That was scary. Okay, here we go. Thank you, Susan. That's how many have Timmy? Okay, um, can I please get the breakfast toasted wrap with um, bacon? We don't start breakfast here. Oh, you don't? Okay. Um, thank you anyways then. They didn't get to see all of this. I'm disappointed. I have another Del Taco near me. I'm gonna park and see if they serve breakfast. Cause I really wanna try the breakfast menu. It's like 9 a.m. guys. Like, why are they serving lunch at this time? <laughs> okay guys. So I just... <laughs> I'm gonna keep it like this, I like it like this. So I just looked it up and the other Del Taco near me doesn't serve breakfast either. And so I'm just gonna get back into the drive-thru here and just get normal food for breakfast. I'm just gonna wing it. I'm gonna get like some tacos, some quesadillas. Um, they do have churros, which is kind of breakfasty. Oh my gosh, I'll get back into line and say Timmy again. Timmy! Thank you for choosing Del Taco. Can I have any for the order? Timmy? Order ready? Yes, um, can I please get one Del Taco and then one um, crispy chicken taco with habanero sauce and one snack queso quesadilla and um, the donut bites and that's all. Yes, yes. Hello. Do you want mild medium sauce? Um, mild. Thank you. <laughs> she is saying they about my taco. <laughs> Does it not look meaty enough? I am totally kidding, by the way, guys. Like, employees owe you nothing. They don't owe you a conversation or anything. Okay, period. All I'm saying is, this is a gorgeous taco, and I feel like it should be celebrated. And they have the donut bites, so I get to try the donuts. I'm so happy. Oh my god, what is going on today? You're kidding me. Thank you so much. Have a good day. I don't know what is going on with my, like, little suction cup tripod today. Come on, octopus! Suction! Let me make sure this is secure. Oh my god, see, it's not, it's not. Give me a second. I'm gonna, like, put some spit on it or something, I don't know. Okay, girlies, I think it was dusty, so I wiped off the little suction cup. It was, like, so we got some mild sauce. Here's the crispy chicken taco. It's the habanero flavor. I think I've had the crispy chicken taco, but I don't think I've had the habanero flavor, so I'm pumped to try that. I always love a little spiciness in my life. And then we got the snack quesadilla. I almost got the full quesadilla, but I was like, it's breakfast. Be dainty. Oh my God, the donut bites look amazing. And they smell amazing. They look and smell like a bigger version of Taco Bell Cinnabon Delights. And then we have the main queen, the Del Taco right here, which I've had. It's incredible. Let's first try the snack quesadilla. Oh, it's a fully round quesadilla. I love that's very hot. Woo! Ah! So it seems to have shredded cheese and I think um, queso also. So it's like a double cheesy moment. Okay. I'm just going to fold it like this and bite it like this. Hey, bestie. Hmm. It's all right. <laughs> Listen, as a taco, I know what I'm tacoing about. I've been waiting to make that joke all week. <laughs> 
it's been in my mind. This reminds me of the cheesy roll up from Taco Bell, but like a little bit better than that. It really does just taste like melted cheese and a tortilla. Now what makes this one a little bit better is it has a hint of queso flavor. Just a hint though. It isn't very strong. It almost feels like they spread the queso on like it was a, like a slab of mayonnaise but like a very thin layer and then it's just like mostly just plain shredded cheese you know. It is nicely grilled but it's just like for me it's just a bit too plain. I know that sometimes simple can be amazing but not in this case. It's, it's too simple. Hey you want some buddy? <laughs> Eat up. I'm gonna give the snack queso mm, a four out of 10. I just wouldn't get it again, I'm sorry. Next up, let's try the habanero chicken crispy taco. I think I've tried the ranch and the chipotle and they both slayed me. So it's basically a pretty processed chicken tender and then it has a sauce and lettuce and cheese. And in this case, it's habanero sauce. These remind me of Wendy's old like chicken go wraps that were amazing that they took away. I know currently they like have like a grilled chicken wrap, but no one likes it. I don't, well, Alejandro does. And I'm always like, why? why? Wendy's bring back the chicken go wrap, please. I need it. Anyways, this reminds me of that. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, the habanero sauce is so good. Oh. Mm. I gotta stop shaking the car, guys. I'm sorry. Mm. Mm. Hot sauce. How much? It doesn't even need it, but. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. That is groundbreaking i love it so much you don't understand like the chicken on the inside is basically like a big chicken nugget it doesn't feel like real chicken it feels like very processed chicken but it's still delicious it has a simple flavor on the inside but the breading is so crispy and it has that chicken tendy flavor so we love that the lettuce adds freshness the cheese adds a little bit of sharpness and then the habanero sauce i think it's like one of my new favorite sauces like habanero flavor things typically aren't my favorite they like typically have that weird sweetness that like habaneros have but this one's sweetness is very light it's just super tangy it's actually a little bit spicy and it's so creamy and it just goes so well with the chicken it's delicious that crispy chicken taco is a 10 out of 10 del taco ate that up next up we have the main queen the del taco something that you need to know about del taco is in their main del tacos they put so, so much, much cheese. cheese look at that layer it is crazy and they like do it like this at least at my location every single time it is always loaded with the dairy farm cow cheese this also just has beef lettuce and tomato it's pretty simple and i have had it before but i love it so let's let's eat it up mm. 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 Mm -hmm. i'm hi king how's my taco look Mm. That's, that's, oh. <coughs> that was like legit just a mouthful of cheese. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Sauce. Ooh. Mmm. You might be thinking, Timmy, that looks just like Taco Bell's taco. I'm just gonna go to Taco Bell. Let me tell you, Taco Bell's tacos are iconic and I think they will always be my like number one tacos. But, 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 but. if you're looking for bigger tacos go to del taco because del tacos main just just normal del taco i swear is so much bigger than the taco bell taco it might not look like it but it's massive it's heavier it's much more filling and also i have to admit the meat does taste a little more real it tastes like taco meat that you like make at home like with the did i rip this Stop it. It tastes like taco meat that you would make at home, like with the seasoning packet, but just a little more flavorful than that. But it's very that. And I love some trashy homemade taco meat. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's salty. It tastes fully seasoned. It's delicious. All the toppings taste fresh. Like I said, they put so much cheese. It's just fantastic, simple taco. I am giving it a 10 out of 10. Iconic. Del Taco's breakfast is pretty much slaying me besides that dry Dune Part 2 quesadilla. Now it's time to try the donut bites. Let's see if they have icing in the center, like the Taco Bell ones. No, they don't. It's kind of refreshing. It's just a donut. Ooh. Oily. Very oily. It is serving oil rig. You can literally see, like, the oil seeped into the 
donut itself. See that? So I think that the flavor itself is actually quite delicious. It tastes just like Taco Bell Cinnabon Delights, like exactly without the icing. So it has that gorgeous light cinnamon sugar flavor and the donut on the inside tastes like a donut. But I do like the fact that it doesn't have icing in the center. I think that the oil <laughs> makes it moist enough, girl. I think the dry center makes it feel a little more light, a little more airy, a little more dainty, right? The oil didn't bother me in terms of flavor. Like, like it didn't taste oily. So that's a positive, obviously. But every time that I took a bite, I could honestly feel like oil squeeze out. I mean, it did moisturize my gums, but I'm just not looking for an oily texture when I'm eating a donut. So I'm going to give Del Taco's Donut Bites a 5 out of 10. Future editing to me is going to average together all the scores. And this is the final breakfast score because he's super smart and he never uses his iPhone calculator. Why would you assume that? He was homeschooled, is that why? Be an ally. Um, I'm excited for lunch. I am going to the other location just so that, you know, I don't show my taco too much at this location. That's just, it's just, it's just too much taco. Okay guys, oh wait, my hat. It's lunch time <laughs> and I am actually feeling great. At this point when I was filming the White Castle video, I already felt so greasy. They should call it Grease Castle. So this is a win for me. I think that Del Taco might be a little less greasy. We love that. So I'm definitely getting loaded nacho fries. I think I've had the chili cheese ones. So I'm so hyped to try the nacho version. I'm gonna also get this, this taco that's called like Chicken Del Car Carbone or something. <laughs> bone and it looks kind of like a street taco that looks interesting i'm gonna get that i also want to try the tostada and the churros thank you for choosing my bill what can we make fresh for you today um can i please get the queso loaded fries the queso loaded fries okay uh -huh. give me just one second ma'am i'll be right back with you thank you it's Mrs. Taco to you. Okay, queso loaded fries. Everything on those fries co that comes on it is good? Yes. Okay, what else? Chicken Del Carbone Taco. Okay, okay just one of those? Uh-huh. Alrighty, one chicken Del Carbone, one queso loaded. Mm -hmm. um, and a crunch tata tostada. Okay. And um, churros. Gotcha. And a large diet Coke, and that's okay. it. Large diet. Oh, yeah. Give us the end of it, you said? Yes. Okay, that's gonna be 15, 18, honey. You can pull forward. Thank you. Thank you. She sounds so nice. Hi, Hello, how, how are, are you? you? 15, 18, I love your hat. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love it. I saw a shirt the other day, I said, I wonder if tacos think about me too. Oh, really? I just love tacos, so I had to wear it. I love it. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, look at that. Okay, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your receipt. Thank you so much. Uh, sauce, mild, medium, or hot? Medium. Medium? Yeah. I got you I'll, bring, I'll have it right now. Thank up. you okay. so much. <laughs> Not the whole stuff laughing in my hat. That's what I expected. Give me the Give attention me the I deserve. deserve. I'm just kidding. She's a queen. She's so nice. <sighs> I can feel it pumping through my shell. They're still laughing. Oh my God, I can't. It's been like two minutes. <laughs> I'm laughing, thinking about the fact that I'm wearing a taco hat. Oh my God. <sighs> She's so crazy, can't take her anywhere. All right, honey, you're all set. Awesome, thank you, you so go. much. I got to kick out of the hat. Thank you thank very much for the laugh. Oh, love thank it. you so we'll much. See you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. She said we all got it kind of huh? Thank you for that. Oh, what a queen. I love her. Let's feast. I'm actually very hungry. Oh, oh, that that did not come from me. That was either her or a ghost. So this is the crunch tata tostada. It's actually quite large. It's only a dollar and 69 cents. That's a great deal. This is pretty big. It seems to have beans, red sauce, cheese, and lettuce. That is simple though, but it's fine. Here's the churros. Oh, they're cute. So there's two of them, but they do look quite pale. Like who? Beth from Little Women. <laughs> I'm just not making that joke. But she's just the palest queen in all the land. Especially when her fever is spiking and Marmy has to wash her feet. Now, I think this is the taco grilled chicken del carbone. This is tiny. Look at this. Next to my taco. It's tiny. Oh, I see onions. I see cilantro. So they, they are trying to go authentic, girly. Ew, it smells. It kind of smells like a dirty sponge. Why? Why? And then we have the nacho loaded fries or queso loaded fries, whatever it was. Oh, these are so saucy. Look at these. This looks amazing. So we have tons of fries, white queso. We have seasoned ground beef, tomatoes, a ton of pickled jalapenos. I love jalapenos and sour cream. Oh my God. Oh, and shredded cheese too. Also, it's extremely heavy. Like this is giving portion. Let's first try the chicken del carbone.
That's the only item that I've ever had from Del Taco that has actually disgusted me. That is a sinister chicken right there. That that chicken said, I am going to crawl down the stairs backwards going, ah! I like the corn tortilla. It's nice and warm. It tastes like good quality to me. I like the onions. They're quite crispy and fresh tasting. Um, the cilantro is fine. Like, I'm not the biggest cilantro fan, but it does taste fresh. What I don't like is the chicken and the sauce. The sauce, to me, has a slimy texture. It, it was kind of giving, like, booger. Like, <laughs> like Gwyneth Paltrow's goop booger. It just didn't really have any flavor, and it, it was just a very goopy texture. I did not like that sauce whatsoever. Flavorless and nasty. But the chicken is the true villain in here okay this chicken is horrible del taco needs a new grilled chicken recipe to me it tastes like it's lower quality than like even tyson's sliced chicken pieces you know and like those are the trash of the trash the texture is so bouncy nasty and then the flavor is very sharp it almost reminds me of like the chicken in like canned campbell's chicken noodle soup but like without the soup, it's like just those nasty chicken pieces. It has that flavor. It's that canned, super concentrated chicken flavor. Disgusting, vile. I'm giving Del Taco's Bone Taco a one out of 10. Embarrassing, says the man with the taco hat. Let's try the Crunch Tata Tostada. Love the name. It's giving like Tia and Tamara, Crunch Tata Tostada. You know, it's like twins. Girl, I really love the tostada itself. It's very crispy. I also like the beans. They do have a very light, simple flavor, but they taste nice and clean and like the perfect base for toppings. So that's good. The lettuce tastes nice and crunchy. The cheese has that nice salty del taco-y flavor to it. The red sauce, I don't think is a strong enough sauce to carry this to Flavortown. I think that the red sauce is too tame. You can barely taste it, to be honest. And so even though I do like all the different elements of this tostada, I just feel like it's not serving flavor. I think that if they used a different sauce, maybe like the habanero sauce or like a chipotle sauce, I think that would really make it pop and really make it a much more enticing item overall. Currently, it is too simple, just like the quesadilla. I'm gonna give the crunch tata tostada a five out of 10. Lunch so far has been mediocre but let's try the loaded nacho fries you guys know loaded fries any kind of loaded fries do something to me oh Oh my god! I can't, I can't stop. I can't stop. Mmm! Ah! Uh. I mean, this too fast to me. Slow down! Mmm! Wowie, wowie, wow. Those are truly glorious. They are the fry I never had, the nacho I always wanted mysterious the fries themselves are simple crinkle cut fries but they're crispy they're salted they're perfect that is simple perfection that's what i'm talking about and the beef is the same beef from the del taco perfection it has so much flavor once again tastes kind of homemade it's a little bit saucy too fabulous the queso is salty ooey gooey it actually tastes more like sit down restaurant queso than like fast food queso which is very surprising because this is fast food and um i think there's a guy looking at me looking behind my taco Hey, sir. Every time that I say, oh my gosh, there is someone looking at me, I get a bunch of comments saying, Timmy, you are so conceited. Oh. Which, first of all, I don't get. I'm just acknowledging that there's someone staring at me and it makes me feel awkward. It doesn't make me feel feel powerful or excited. <laughs> Anyways, the queso is amazing. The shredded cheese just kind of mixes in with the queso and just makes it even gooier. And the tomatoes taste fresh. The jalapenos are so tart and so crispy. Incredible. Some of the best loaded fries I've had in recent years. I'm giving these a 10 mm. out of 10. Del Taco really ate. No, so did I. Ah, uh, mm, the best churros. It's all look on the inside, bubbly. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. That's a decent churro. It's nothing amazing, but it's also not bad. It's enjoyable. Um, I feel like the inside of the churro could be fluffier. 
but it's not stale or like fully crunchy. There is some fluffiness in there, so that's good. The outside is definitely very crunchy, so that's also good. The cinnamon sugar does add the perfect amount of sweetness and spice. There's just not much more to say. They're good, they're fine, but they're just very, very basic, mediocre churros. It is what it is, you know? So I'm gonna give the churros a nice six out of 10. They're cute, they're cute. Well guys, I'm gonna finish these fries, take the rest of the food home, and then I'll see y'all at dinner. Hi guys, oh my God, this car. Girl, chill. Guys, it, you too, what is going on here? So it is dinner time and I am still feeling pretty good. I feel a teeny tiny bit greasy in my belly, but nothing crazy. So the day's going well. I am back at the original Del Taco. I am hoping it's a different employee just cause it'll just be awkward if she sees the taco headed man on the same day twice, you know? <laughs> I'm definitely getting a burrito, nachos, some sort of a milkshake. I think they have like a new like strawberry boba one and the fried cheesecake bite thingies. Thank you for choosing. Del Taco, may I have your name for the order? Timmy. Order been ready? Yes, so um, can I please get the caramel cheesecake bites? How many pieces? Oh, sorry, uh, two. Uh, two. Okay. And a large Diet Coke. Got it. And uh, nachos with beef. Anything else? And then one loaded queso burrito with um, steak, and that's all. Please take a moment to look at the screen. If it is correct, go ahead and close the window. Um, I think so. Thank Two you. Two caramel bites, the beef case for nachos, the epic case of carne asada, and the macho diet Yes, correct. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, guys, I forgot the milkshake. <laughs> it's fine. I was nervous. Hello, how are you? It's going to be 24. Thank you. 47. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't even realize that I'm filming this on a Tuesday. My mind, my big taco brain. What a wonderful, crunchy day. Thank you so much, have a good day. Girlies, the employees at this location are unfazed by my big taco head. They're like, we see so many tacos every day. Do you think we care? Love that. Let's have dinner. I have never had like a main Del Taco burrito, I don't think ever, and I've never had their steak. That's why I chose it, I have to try it. Ooh, these cheesecake egg roll looking things smell so good. They smell like the fair. Have I had these? Maybe in a different taste test. This burrito is huge. This is like a Chipotle sized burrito, but at a fast food place. Ah, and here's the nachos. These are also huge. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is a full meal on its own. They smell incredible. Like the queso. Is potent and salty. Let's try the burrito. Cause like I said, it has steak. And you guys know, I, I'm not a big steak person. Well, I've been becoming more of a steak man. As of recently, thanks to my Outback Steakhouse video when I got that delicious little medium medallion. It was, <laughs> that was like the name, right? It was so good. So there's the steak. Doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look as like trashy as like Taco Bell steak. That's for sure. This burrito seems to have pico de gallo, cheese, steak, tons of queso and fries. Oh, guys. Fries in the burrito. Let me just fold it back up. Slow it down, buddy! That was like all pickled de gallo and queso. Wow. I have to get deeper in. Mmm. 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 Napkin! Oh my god! Um, oh my goodness. Mm. Oh my God, the steak, wow. Oh my goodness. Mm. I have no words. Mm. Half of it's already gone. Mm. I want to save half of this for Alejandro because he has to try the steak. This may come as a shock to you, to your loved ones, to everyone you know. In my opinion! Ugh. Del Taco has the best fast food steak. Write that down. Save it. Write it in a museum. This is official. Del Taco steak tastes like actual steak. And by that, I mean it tastes like real compared to, you know, like Taco Bell, like Taco Bell steak 
legit tastes like canned dog food. A canine would think it's a delicacy. This steak isn't chewy, but it has that real steak texture. It has no dog foody flavor. It has no like oily flavor. It just tastes like really like well marinated seasoned steak. Like it has actual flavor to it. It tastes a little limey. I am so impressed by it. I, I, I did not think Del Taco could pull that off. From now on, every time I go to Del Taco, I'm, I'm just gonna get the carne asada steak, period. The fries with the steak and all that queso and the pico created such an amazing combination of flavors. All the flavors were very cohesive, yet each element really got to shine. Like I could really taste the fries. I could really taste the queso. Just a perfect burrito and also the size. It's huge. I have to give that loaded queso burrito a 10 out of 10. Let's try the nachos. So they seem to have beans, seasoned beef, jalapenos, queso, tomatoes, and sour cream. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ooh. Mm. I'm getting full. God. Okay, let me pause. So I, I enjoyed that. I did. Is it perfect? No, it's not. It has a few issues, but very slight issues. First of all, the chips are very crunchy. They're not oily. They're salted. They're great tortilla chips. Love them. I think that the combination of the meat, the queso, the jalapenos, everything, it all tastes very, very good together. But I do think that, that these nachos have one issue and that's the beans. I think that the beans drag them down. The bean said, I don't have that much flavor. So I don't want you to have that much flavor. Get on my level! And it dragged them down. It's insecure. The moment that you find yourself worth, you bean, you're gonna uplift your sisters. The beans are so light in flavor, yet heavy in texture, that they really just dilute the flavor and they weigh the nachos down and just make them feel like a big blob of concrete in your belly. And so if I get the nachos again, I'm gonna say, with no beans, please. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, I just burped into my straw. Oh my gosh. The concoction that's happening in here could rival one of the Evil Queen's potions. So yeah, I'm gonna give the nachos, I think, a very nice 7.5 out of 10. I think that's fair. Guys, I'm gonna take like almost all of this home. Like I'm so full right now. It's just been a long day of food, but a fun one, right? It is time for our final item of the day. The cheesecake deep fried egg roll thingies. Okay, so it looks very crunchy, buttery, flaky, crispy. This is not giving Beth from Little Woman. This has a gorgeous color to it. This is serving the very lively Amy or Joe or what was the oldest one's name? She's so forgettable. She was trying to fit in with her gorgeous gown at that rich party. What was her name? Meg. 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 Why does Meg, like the name, remind me of eggnog? <laughs> That's the most random thing I've ever said, but it does. Oh. Mmm. Mm. Mm hmm. Can you see it? The sun is being annoying. Don't you know I'm working? Get away. Mmm. Mmm. This cheesecake filling. Oh. Mmm. Oh, I'm too full, guys. I have to stop there. I have to stop there. That is so delicious. First of all, like the egg roll wrapping is thicker than your typical egg roll wrapping. <laughs> it was kind of doughy which I really liked because it just, it had that dessert texture. Crunchy on the outside, doughy on the inside, love that. And then the filling isn't like a thick cheesecake. It's like more of like a cheesecake sauce, but it does taste like cheesecake. It has a very cream cheesy flavor, sweet but not too sweet. And the wrapper has like no sweetness to it, so it's a nice balance there. And there is a slight caramel flavor, but it's very slight, like very, very light. That's a delicious little dessert. I think, I think that was my favorite dessert of the day for sure, out of the three that I had. Um, it's the most dynamic and has the most elements to it, like an avatar. I'm gonna give the cheesecake dessert a 10 out of 10. I think that's so delicious. I loved it. So this is the dinner score. Now, future editing Timmy is gonna average together all three meal scores so that we can get one big final Del Taco score. So this is it. <sighs> Let me know in the comments below which item that I ate today looked the best to you. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It's the easiest way to support me and my whole career. Also subscribe. I make food content. Okay. Anyways, I'm so full. I'm gonna go home. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next video. Bye. Mwah. Oh my God, what is going on today?